Hey everyone, and welcome back to STEMAGEAR. Today, we have a really special guest joining us to talk about computer programming. I'm excited because this special guest happens to be my brother, Alex. Alex is a high school student who is really passionate about computer science. In fact, that is what he cur currently focused on at school. You're in for a special treat. Before we get started, please remember to hit the subscribe button and share my channel with your family and friends. Additionally, if you like STEM major content, remember to hit the like button down below. And now I'll turn it over to Alex. Hi everyone. Now before I explain computer programming, you most likely clicked on this video because you either don't know much about computer programming or you want to learn more about it. So first you need to understand why computer programming matters. Let's imagine a few scenarios. So let's say one day you log onto your computer and you want to play a game, say Minecraft, or you decide to visit a website like Google. Then maybe you want to shop, so you visit Amazon or another online store. After a long day, you may decide to hop on YouTube to watch your favorite videos. How do you think all this content is created? That is where computer programming comes in. Computer programming is used to create the websites and apps you know and love, and even your phone's interface. Without computer programming, your computer or phone will be a useless hunk of metal. Unless you use a banana phone that's not made of metal. Even older phones from years ago are programmed to work. But what is computer programming? Let's visit the dictionary. So according to Britannica, a computer program is a, quote, detailed plan or procedure for solving a problem with a computer, more specifically, an unambiguous ordered sequence of computational instructions necessary to achieve such a solution which is a very, very, very complicated way to say a very detailed set of instructions for a computer to follow. Computer programming is essentially writing the instructions. But let's make this more understandable. Say that today I am very sick and need someone to pour some water into my cup. I am the only one in the house, unfortunately, so I'll need a little bit of help. So let's create a robot that has a computer inside of it. And let's name it a totally original name, Rob. Rob, pour me some water into my cup. Rob, get me some water. A few moments later. So clearly this is not going to work. You see, Rob doesn't understand my native language, English. So I can't speak to him using English. But he does understand a special language that many computers understand. Let's name this language Robspeak. The Robspeak language does not have many words. The only words it has are step forward, step backward, get water, pour water, and we call these words code. So let's try again using Rob speak instead of English. Rob, get water, step forward, pour water. Well, that didn't work. You see computer programmers are those who write computer programs constantly have to fix their program for it to work properly. Most people rarely create a function and program on the first try. So let's try again. Maybe Rob, get water, step forward, step forward, step forward, and pour water. A few inches later. So that clearly didn't work. He spilled the water on me. Maybe let's try get water, step forward, step forward, pour water. Yeah! There, I finally get to enjoy a nice cup of water. Thank you, Rob. The process of writing a computer program can often take tens, if not hundreds of tries to work properly, especially with large computer programs. But with enough dedication, you can create a program that works. Now in the real world, there are many different languages computers understand, and these languages have many, many, many more, more words than four. Some examples of computer programming languages include Python, Java, C++, and JavaScript. Computer programmers use these languages and many more to create the applications and websites you know and love. And that's computer programming simplified. Back to you, Alonso. Thanks again, Alex, for joining us today. We really appreciate it. If you like this video, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe to STEMAGEAR. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.